Okay, so chapter 6 is about testing hypothesis. So ano na ta? we are moving na to computations and mga research na mga parts. So for this chapter, we will be formulating a null and alternative hypothesis and state the procedure for hypothesis testing. And then differentiate between one-tailed and two-tailed tests and distinguish between type 1 and type 2 errors. So those are the things that we will discuss for this chapter. But before that, let's talk about hypothesis first. Unsa the ay ng hypothesis? This one is actually a part sa inyong research paper. Na ado din to part na hypothesis um, testing, especially if your research is a quantitative research. So, natay two types sa research class, ha? Quantitative and qualitative. Pag um, nag-decide mo na gusto mo mag-conduct o quantitative research, mo na siya ang research na Ang inyong mag-gather na data kay numerical. So na ay numerical values. Like pag mag mag-conduct ta og mga experimentations, when we do experiments inside the laboratory, actually we will get a numerical na data. So that will fall under quantitative research. And then if you have quantitative research, you will have hypothesis, you will test your hypothesis. And then, um, gamit ta aning mga test na ni. Then you will have a conclusion after. Um, pag nag-decide po mo nga inyong research kay qualitative research, mo po na ang research na wala kay numerical values. So, ang advantage uh, ng qualitative research is di ka mukandak og survey wa kay numerical data dili ka mag statistics um what else uh, dili kay siya gasto kay dili siya dili mo wag kandak og experiment sa laboratory um ang disadvantage lang ano sige kag sulat kay Example ang imuhang study. Example sa study nga qualitative research kay ka ng phenomenological research. We call it phenomenological. Um, you want to know the, ex like example ha, you want to know the experiences of the pharmacist in handling um, COVID-19 patients. So gusto ka makabaluin sa iya mga experiences. And then remember class ka ng experience, dili na ni mo siya makwantify. Wala kay numerical data for that. So mag-interview lang ka, mangita ka ang mga pharmacist, interview ni mo sila unsa ang ilahang mga na-experience no? when they handled like COVID-19 patients. Sa ang mga, ba, mga bad experiences, mga good exper experiences, tanan-tanan na to, and whatever their um, ano, answers, imuha ng isulat tanan. Okay? And then, i-interpret na to na siya. Napot ay mga methods of interpretation and data analysis sa qualitative research. So, ano lang, medyo baga lang ang paper sa qualitative research kay daghan kay ka o isulat. Lang. Pero since we are talking about statistics, then we will be talking about quantitative research. And when you say hypothesis, this is actually an educated guess. Or this is a tentative, um, tentative solution to a problem. When you conduct a research class, most likely na a problematic situation uh, na you want to address. So, if you want to address it, you will be proposing a solution for that. And that solution na imuhang propose is your hypothesis. And then you will be testing your hypothesis if tama jud ba nga pwede siya mahimong solution to your problem. Tas man good kayo. Tas man good ang, ano no, Kana sa screen nga definition sa hypothesis, but mao lang tayo ginamit. It's an educated guess, a temporary or tentative solution to your problem. Okay, so this again is a proposition or a set of proposition, your proposal, as an explanation for the occurrence occurrence of some spe specific group or phenomena. 
So it is a predictive statement capable of being tested by scientific methods that relative and independent variable to some independent and independent variable. In layman's term, you can test your hypothesis whether it is um, true or not, or it is a good solution to your problem or not. That's it. That's hypothesis. So what are the characteristics of a hypothesis? First, it should be clear and precise. Most likely, this is just a one-sentence proposal sa imuha, a solution sa imuhang problem, direct to the point. And then again, it, can, it should be tested. So how will you know whether to accept or reject your hypothesis if it cannot be tested? And then should be able to relate to a variable. Remember, sa prelim, we have discussed the different variables in research. So like you have like independent and dependent variables. So, dapat ma-relate ni mo ang imuhang hypothesis dito sa variable sa imuhang research. And must be limited in scope and must be specific. So, dilita mo hatag o temporary na solution or tentative solution sa imuhang problem na very broad, na mahimu na siya problem itself. Supposedly, dapat ang scope niya is for your problematic situation only and specific siya for that. Next, must be stated in very simple terms. We don't use high polluting words in research as much as possible. We'll simplify everything so that even if the reader is not medically inclined or is not a pharmacist, makasabot atong reader sa atong research, even sa ato ang hypothesis. And then must be consistent with most known facts, must be testable, actually this is paulit lang, but within a reasonable time. Remember when you conduct a research, your research is time bounded. So, dili ka mo hatag og solution sa imuhang problem, nga dugay ka ayon ni mo mahuman og test. Kay, Dili <laughs> ka graduate anak class, okay? Next, must explain the facts which most need explaining. So kung unsa tong kailangan gyud explain mo dito imong problematic situation, mo pud lang to ato ang hatagan og hypothesis. Now we have you can ask questions ha if ano na moy wala na sabtan. Next, let's have categories of hypothesis. So, natay duha ka categories. The first one is based on their formulation. Kung paano nato gisulat ato ang hypothesis. So we have two: the null and the alternative hypothesis. And then the second category is based on direction. So naay padulngan ang atong hypothesis later you will understand that we have two types directional and non-directional. So let's start with the first category based on their formulation we have the null hypothesis and most of the time when we do research this is the most used na hypothesis mo ni ang pinaka ginagamit nato na hypothesis. So ang symbol for null hypothesis is H O. Just have it lang. So the null hypothesis class. This is a statement of equality or no difference between the groups under study or hypothesis of no effect. Mga yung kita wag siya null kay wala. Akong naghimo ka og tambal, pagwing ko og null hypothesis, naghimo ka og tambal pero nagtuo ka nga wala siya effect. Ana. Um or um if you have different groups um of like you want to test different groups no. Ang imuhang hypothesis ana kay walay difference, walay kalahian ang bawat grupo. Basta the ano there um the keyword here is null wala. Walay effect walay difference. Okay? So, this one is on the negative side. We will be formulating it on the on a negative na statement. So, for example, giving feedback does not improve learning. So, ano, ang imuhang ginastadihan ani ang effect ni feedback sa learning. Pero, pag mo 
hatag ka og tentative nga guess. Ang imuhang guess din hi, kay hypothesis is a guess, right? An educated guess. Ang imuhang guess din hi is on the negative side. Uh, no walay um dili maka-improve sa learning ang paghatag og feedback. So that's how you formulate a null hypothesis. You just have to include no or not in your sentence. And then another one, the two groups do not differ in their response to the method of teaching. So for example, this study is that you have two groups. The other one um, receives method one in teaching. And then group two, ang ilaha pong na-receive is the method two sa teaching. But when you propose... Your educated guess here is bisag lahi-lahi silang method, wala silay difference in terms of the response. So again, the null hypothesis is wala, 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 wala effect, wala difference. And then for the pharmacy na side, this is how you make a null hypothesis. There is no significant difference between the blood pressure lowering activity of drug A and drug B. So supposedly you have two, two drugs for blood pressure lowering or mga anti-hypertensive drugs na to. And then we will be testing their activity kung makapababa dyan ba sila o BP or not and let's compare them kung kinsay mas effective. Pero pag mo hatag kag educated guess ni mo and then it is a null hypothesis, ano siya? Negative po ng side, meaning walay difference, there is no significant difference between the blood pressure lowering activity of drug A and B. That's how you make null hypothesis. You just have to write it in the negative form. So in, con in contrast, we have the alternative hypothesis. Our symbol for this is HA. So... Ano ni siya, a statement of the relationship between the variables that the researcher seeks to prove. So ano lang siya, total opposite of your null hypothesis. If imuhang educated guess na null hypothesis class is on the negative form, si alternative naman is on the positive form. So for example, atong null hypothesis kagay na giving feedback does not improve learning. Pero pag imuha na siyang i-convert into an alternative hypothesis in positive form, giving feedback improves learning. So this one is on the positive side. You are believing na your intervention is really effective and na adjud siya effect. Okay? And then, another one, kagaina, the two groups do not differ in their response to the method of teaching. So for example, the two methods of teaching is experimental and lecture. So pwede kang mag-alternative hypothesis na among the two, um, mas nagabilib ka nga ang experimental mas effective than the lecture. So your alternative hypothesis is like this. Experimental methods are more effective than lecture. So ano siya positive na kay ginatuuhan niya na ay effect or ang um, imuhang ginatuuhan kay the other one is better than the other method. And then for the third one, di ba kagaina sa null hypothesis, there is no significant difference between the blood pressure lowering activity of drug A and B. This time, pag positive gani na siya, alternative hypothesis ang ginapangayo sa inyo ha, it's on the positive form. There is a significant difference between the blood pressure lowering activity of drug A and B. B. So tanggal din lang na to ang not or ang no para mahimo siya alternative hypothesis. Mo na nga gitawag sila ano class? Sa na to? Based on their formulation. So based sa pag-formulate na to sa itong sentence. We have two null and alternative. Questions class? None po. Wala. So we have also the so-called non-directional hypothesis. So pag non-directional hypothesis... 
non directional non hypothesis class okay pag non directional hypothesis you just simply predict that there will be a difference between the two groups but you will not specify how the groups will differ mayon lang ka nga Um, example na kay two groups tapos gitagaan nimo ang isa gitagaan nimo drug A ang isa gitagaan nimo drug B ningon lang ka nga yes na sila difference pero you will not state kung how do they how the two uh, differs from each other so ang pag ang imuhang hypothesis is a non-directional hypothesis you will be using a two-tailed test okay And then, pag directional hypothesis naman, uh, you predict that there is a difference between the two groups and then you will specify how these two groups will differ. So you will um, identify, you will know na ang imong hypothesis is a directional hypothesis if you use the following terms like greater, less, better, or worse. So for example, may ngun ka og Um, drug A is better than drug B. That is actually a directional hypothesis. Nagtuo ka na, um, na na difference ang drug A and drug B. And ang difference nila is better si drug A compared kay drug B. So na kay direction. Imuhang direction is going to drug A. Manang gitawag siya directional hypothesis. And since you have a direction here, Um, pag mag-test na takaroon sa ato ang hypothesis, we will be using a one-tailed test. Okay? So, diri ko mag-end sa ako ang lesson for today.